welcome to the live show if you are coming here to watch if you're watching live now uh, just tweet out the link so hopefully we'll get a couple of people coming in um, and we're here to talk about the Galaxy S4 obviously we wanted to leave it about a day just to kind of take it in and understand you know we'll kind of digest the actual facts and figures we were given and what do we think of the actual presentation obviously I'm Sam hopefully you know who I am and we have Jared raise the root. No, that was way over the top. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> that was bad. That was bad. <laughs> oh, what's going on, everybody? Jared back, and um, yes, we're here with Sam J. Pullen, uh, like we have been doing the past couple of weeks. Um, obviously, a lot of you guys will know me from the Smoking Android YouTube channel, and um, like Sam said, we're here to uh, talk a little bit about the uh, latest. Uh, announcement from Samsung, the Samsung Galaxy S4, and um, our reaction to not only the device and the specs and things like that, but I think Sam and I will probably touch base a little bit on the, I guess you could call it a Broadway performance that Samsung decided to put on. If that's what they want to call it. <laughs> you know, I think HTC had it, you know, the best one when, when they said it. Like, oh, it's the next big flop. The phone won't be, but the presentation was just ridiculous. I mean, yeah, I think, I think Samsung, you know, I can see that, because, I mean, if, if you think about it, going back to the Galaxy S3, you know, announcement, I think that was much more of a professional, um, tech media uh, related type of event, but this time, I think Samsung said, you know what, we made such a huge splash with the Galaxy S3, um, you know, let's make a really, really big splash at the event. Yeah. And, you know, I can see where they were coming from trying to, um, you know, demonstrate some of the features and point out the features the way they did it, but, again, the way they did it with the whole performance thing, I think, was way over the top. We're not here to watch a show. We're here to see a bloody phone. Yeah, I mean, the people that were in attendance, you know, those, every, you know, basically it was all the re reviewers, writers, whatever you might want to call all the journalists. Now, for them, it was, wasn't a very good show. For the general public, I understood where they were trying to go with it, yeah. because they were like, right, we want to tell you real, real world situations, yeah. which is great, but for the audience that was there, it was pathetic. Well, it's funny, whenever, the only times you would ever hear the audience clap, and again, probably 95 or more percent of the audience, um, was guys like you and me, you know, tech reviewers. And the only times they clapped is when, you know, they finally showed the phone. Everyone's like, awesome, awesome, great, let's let's get into this, right? But during during the performances, you know, like and, and a lot of female technology reviewers are absolutely like they're so pissed off at the stereotypes <laughs> they give. Like they're calling it like they, they portrayed women as like fifties uh, stereotypical type women and and like nineteen fifties and um, nobody was clapping. Nobody was clapping. No, everyone was like, "Are they ser are they serious? Like, what are they doing?" <laughs> it was it was a bit shocking. Yeah, yeah it was. I mean, regardless of the that part of the event, obviously yeah. we're here to actually talk about the device. That's right. Uh, are we excited about it? You know, what do we think of the specifications and obviously them software features that should. So, I mean, first off, let's just talk, talk specifications. We kind of got kind of what we expected. Now, I didn't think they were going to do the quad core straight away. In all honesty. Uh, I thought they were, they're the opt car, sorry. I thought they were going to do the quad car, which they are doing for America, well, for North America, and the European and Asian markets again, the opt car. So I was half right. Yeah. So I was kind of wrong. I thought mind. personally that, um, you know, you and I had talked about this in the past, and, you know, again, your initial thoughts was, yeah, we'll probably end up seeing the quad core. Um, and I was even going as far to think to myself, there's no way we're going to see the opt core until at least the Note 3. So, so I thought. you know, I, I was like, it would be cool if we could see the Octa chip in the Galaxy S4, but I just wasn't holding my breath because it was such new technology. They had just announced it. Uh, it was at CES was was when they was yeah, when they that's when they announced it. It's the Exynos Five or the ZR5 yeah. Or the yeah. So I was like, there's no way they're going to be putting it in the S4. It's too soon. But that's what I thought exactly as well. Samsung pulled the rabbit out of their hat, and uh, you know, here we are. Mm. Um, you know, Although you, know, you technically won't be getting the um, the good old eight cars, you'll be getting no, the quad. <laughs> that's yeah. right. Yeah. No. Here, here in North America, we'll be getting the quad core, um, the Snapdragon S4 Pro, and I, it's it's. No, it's the Snapdragon 600. 600. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was gonna say the 600. Um, you know, and and I guess this is kind of where I guess we'll let the debate begin because 
people are going to be saying, well, what's going to be faster? What's going to be better? Should I fork out that extra bit of money, at least for the people in North America who are going to have to shell out the cash for the shipping costs to get it here? Um, or should I just be satisfied with the new Snapdragon processor that'll be coming in it, uh, the, the quad core? And I mean, it's like last year. You know, yeah. the quad core variant came to the international. You got the quad core, luckily, which you imported it. And then the yeah. North America got the dual core with two yeah. gig of RAM. And there was yeah. debate whether which is faster. Is it the quad yeah. core or is it the dual core? It's yeah. going to be the exact same again this year. You yeah. know, which one's faster? Now, yeah. now it's, it's an interesting topic because, you know, for those of us that do have the Anime 300, you being one of them, um, you know, a lot of us have noticed that that sort of um, wake lag and that home button lag due to the Exynos, the proprietary deep sleep uh, coding that Samsung has put in their Exynos chips. Yeah. And that is a huge pain in the ass. I mean, that goes from everything from talking on the phone and then when you're done the conversation, looking at your device so the screen turns on so that you can end the bloody call. You know, there's that two second lag, and that's really frustrating, as well as like pressing the power on button, and it takes two seconds, sometimes even three seconds, depending on how long the phone's been off for, for it to mm -hmm. turn back on. Now, the folks that I've spoken with who have the North American version with the Qualcomm processor in it say, I don't know what you're talking about, mine doesn't have that. Well, what they obviously don't understand is that there's two different variations of the device. Yes. Um, I'm really, really, really crossing my fingers and hoping that Samsung has managed to somehow optimize or basically fix that issue. Well, I'm hoping that's what, obviously, with these eight cores, they're going to have a, a, you know, one of these smaller cores always running at a certain speed. Yeah. So hopefully, that means you, you turn it on, it's instant on. You yes. know, I'm hoping, I mean, I hope it's because that's the one downfall of the, the S3 is yeah. that you're like, oh, why does it take so long? And then when I play with, like, the Nexus 4 or, you know, uh, the um, Xperia Z, yeah. Instant on. Exactly. So they use the, they exactly. Use Snapdragons. And then so, in addition to that home button lag, there was the whole um, S voice thing where you had to go into the bloody settings to turn off the double tap home button to turn yeah. it on. And what that, that improved that? a little bit, didn't it? It did a little bit, you know, at least at least well, I'm gonna say at least for the um, the, the Qualcomm uh, variants, the Qualcomm yeah. processor variants of it. Now for the internationals it did improve it a little bit, but there's still that, that deep sleep lag that was still there, right? So yeah. Um, I mean, let's obviously let's talk about some more of the specifications. So as we know, we're getting two variants, both going to come with two gigabytes of RAM. Um, front the front camera thinks two megapixel doing 1080p. The yeah. back is a 13 megapixel, which looks like it's it looks like it's a pretty big lens in the back of it. It does. So I was like, hmm. But from yeah. samples so far, hmm, sketchy. It looks um, like it's from the Note 2 almost. Yeah, it's, it's a bit. Weird. I mean, the um, Techno Buffalo put up some comparison against the HTC One. Which yeah. we'll talk about in a little bit, yeah. uh, and the got to be honest, the S4 looked pretty poor. Yeah. Um, so I mean, I think the one of the biggest things is obviously the screen. You know, I got that five inch yeah. display, four point nine nine if you want to get technical, yeah. but it's ten eighty p, but it's a pen tile display. Yeah. Now, one of my friends on Twitter was saying earlier, can you really say it's a ten eighty p display when it's pen tile? Because he didn't think he could. I know you can because it's technically it is ten eighty p. Yeah. But Obviously, some of that detail is taken away. Yeah. Now, do we think that's going to make a big difference? Because let's be honest, the screen is the feature of phones. That is Without the a good big, screen. Uh, there's no point having a good phone if you've got a crap right. screen. That's right. That's right. What do you think? It, I mean, are you bought a green pen tile? And and again, this is and I'm going to kind of like um, um, quote some of the people and some of the different Android related forums out there. Yeah. A lot of folks are having mixed opinions and and it's an interesting battle because a lot of what a lot of what they're doing is comparing the HTC One and the Galaxy S4 because both are new 2013 devices and yeah, they're comparing exactly. the two different displays now on one hand you've got an LCD display and the other hand you've got an AMOLED display yeah. and and the thing is that also in addition to that they're saying well you know the uh, the, the HTC One has a higher DPI than the S4 granted but let's let's take something into uh, consideration here you're not, unless you've got the phone up to your face with a magnifying glass, you're not going to be able to see those bloody pixels. I'm sorry. It's yeah, just... I mean, on 720p, you technically, I mean, if you really look at it, you can see it's Pentile Matrix. But with a 1080p, I'm going to highly doubt you can. Exactly. Um, obviously, without, without seeing it in the flesh, we don't know. I mean, yeah. if I put up my, my Nexus 4 to the S3, yeah. it's clear the Nexus 4 has got a nice, it's got a higher quality display. It's not as black. It's you know it's a lot brighter. That's right. But the screen itself looks crisper. 
It's exactly. But will that relate to 1080p in, the, in similar size screens? You know, and, and again, like you said, it, it's too early to say because we don't have the phones in our hands in the, in the yeah. flesh. But you know, I mean, if you just think about like the technical specifications and what your what the human eye is capable of of seeing, yeah. I really can't see us being able to tell the difference. The 1080p display. I mean, everybody who's there, who is at the floor, picking up those devices, regardless of how they were comparing it to other devices' displays. They were saying this display looks gorgeous. I yeah. mean, it's a first Super AMOLED HD display in 1080p resolution in the world. So, yeah. and the only people that are able to see it are the people that were on the floor. And they were saying, "Man, this display looks friggin' amazing." So, yeah, so I, I mean, think that initial impressions you know, seemed like it's impressive. Um, yeah. I mean, I did a video on the Xperia Z against the S3, my, putting microscopes. Yeah. And you can see the difference between a pentile matrix and obviously the, the normal RGB kind of uh, structure. Yeah. And when you look at it on a microscopic level, you go, ooh, that's really crap. Yeah. But we're not on a mic, our eyes can't do that. We're here. Exactly. We're what? Exactly. We're only inches away. From, we're not exactly like, ooh, centimeters wet. Exactly. Know, 12 inches or so away from the phone. Yeah. You don't yeah. go like this. No, that's not how you do, exactly. That's not how you view your phone. Your phone's always about a foot, a minimum of a foot away from your face to begin with. So exactly, exactly. You can't complain, and and those those arguments are just ridiculous in my. At opinion. the moment, yeah, because without having both of them and everyone testing them and looking at them personally, it's yeah. hard to give it. It's hard to give it out. I mean, let's be honest. I mean, the S3 still got a bloody a gorgeous screen, seven twenty p, yeah, an eighty p. Yeah, it's just going to be a better version. Exactly. I mean, effectively, the way I see the S4. Is it's a more refined S3, you know? Yeah. yeah, I mean, some people said they should have called it the S3S. Yeah, that'd have been a stupid, have been a stupid name. Yeah, we you know? don't want to do that. Let's not go down that Apple iPhone road, you know? Exactly, exactly. So it's like, <laughs> no, I'm not gonna, not, not gonna do that. No. And let's be honest, the S3 wasn't a massive difference over the uh, S2. They upgraded the specs, upgraded the screen, upgraded the camera, and you know, upgraded the software. They've done exactly the same this year. Yeah. Now, what I always ask the people is, yeah. Would I like the new design? Maybe. Um, I personally like the design. I just mm. not keen. I'm not keen on the materials that are used. Yeah. Now, if they use premium materials, you know, some aluminium or aluminum, um, yeah. then I would have been a lot happier. Yeah. But fact is, Samsung like using plastic. They use yeah. plastic for a reason. Is that they're yeah. just happy with it? Yes. Yeah. I know it's polycarbonate. It's still plastic. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's all. It's still plastic. You know, my, my opinion of the design is, um, I, I'm again, I'm pleased with the Galaxy S3 design, and they've obviously done some minute changes with the S4, and I'm pleased with those as well. Um, however, I will have to say that I was a little bit taken back because based on some of the earlier leaked um, photos of the S4 earlier this month, it looked, <clears throat> at least it gave me the impression, it looked like the, um, the, uh, the banding around the phone um, whereas on the Galaxy S3, it's like a, a chromatic looking or a chrome looking plastic. I yeah. thought it was actually going to be some sort of a uh, some sort of aluminum banding yeah, on I it. I mean, when you look at the new one, it looks like it. Yeah, it does. Now, people have said that it feels like aluminum, but... I mean, no, I mean, I've if you feel um, an ATVS, um, not many people have because they didn't sell pretty much any. Um, yeah. If you feel one of those, it feels cold to the touch. Yeah, but you, you know, it's, you, you can tell it's plastic because when you yeah. tap it, you go, yeah. "Nah, that that's just plastic." It's yeah. a very clever plastic, but it's still plastic. Yeah. You know, yeah. nonetheless. I mean, don't get me wrong. The materials they use, they're very durable. They last. I've got to my three quite a few times. Yeah. In perfect condition. Yeah. I see why they do it, but yeah. I would like them to. I mean, could they do this at one point? Bring out a premium version of the S4 with premium materials. You know. They, they, they sell other devices, you know, this is their premium device. The S4 Plus. There we go. <laughs> it's possible. You, you know, uh, also, um, the it's home button. It. You and I were talking about the home button, um, how we like the look of it a lot better. Oh, this I'm, a, I'm a lot happier with the home button. The no, home again, button we haven't got in our hands to press, right? We haven't, you know, pressed the button true. yet. It, it looks but like it's bigger. It looks a bit white. It, it looks, looks like, like a little... they took it from the Note 2 and threw it in the S for yeah. and they're like I think people like this home button better and and I'll admit I mean like I mean that's you know that's that's a bloody small home button you know what yeah, I mean I have, just... I've have to, I've got like a little raised thing on from a, a speak and SGP yeah. because um, I don't like how it is it's too flush yeah so, and I like I can't feel it when I'm pressing it yeah like the iPhone there's one thing I give the iPhone credit for that button on the iPhone is a solid button 
you know, and it's, you can boom, it's press it, boom, you press it. You know on the S3, or you're pressing it. Not yeah. the greatest. Yeah. On the S2, I love the S2 button. The S2 was a very, very nice clicker, but then they ruined it on the S3. Hopefully, S4's brought that back. Yeah. I mean, yeah. specification wise, let's be honest, it's kind of what we expected, but yeah. let's but they're not disappointed. And I think yeah. that's the main no, aspect. Exactly. Here. Um, not and, and I'm actually really surprised that a lot of people are, are so disappointed. They said, "Oh, it's just a bare, uh, you know, a minor upgrade." Well, guys, what, what were you expecting? Four gigs of RAM. Uh, I mean, it's got the eight-core processor in it. Like, I mean, that's bloody impressive, and that's supposed to give us like a, what they announced at CES—a thirty percent increase in battery savings. Yeah, exactly. Twenty-six well, milliamp is... battery. It's an it's an advanced battery. We've got a 1080p display. I mean, what do you? A 13 megapixel camera. Regardless of you know comparing its its images that it's able to take now against others. And again, that's what it's based on now. That's not to say that a future software upgrade might not. You know. I mean, yeah. I mean, end of the day, it's still a prototype. It's still not coming out for a month, about a month and a half. Yeah. So it's still prototype software, and obviously yeah. HTC One. It, I mean, we're, we're comparing that because they're the two flagships that have been released in the similar category. That's not a, a massive five point five. And if history mass. repeats itself, historically, whenever these devices are actually released to the public, as soon as you open the box up and you turn it on, it's like software update available. Yeah. Almost they, every single time. Yeah. So whatever we're seeing right now um, will be could could be changed uh, and enhanced in the future. You know. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Uh, but I, I think I, I'm still I'm happy with with what they came out with with the S4. I think it's just fine. Um, yeah. I think the same thing that happened with the S3, where everybody was like, "Oh, I'm so mad." I mean, what there was that there was that thing about the 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 uh, tech editor over at CNET, the mobile tech editor at CNET, and he just trashed the S4. This thing's a piece of crap. Blah 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 blah. But let's face it, it's a bloody nice device, yeah. especially for its time. It was a nice device, and it still is a yeah. nice device. Even if you were to go buy one right now, you'd still be happy with it. Exactly. And I think that the S4 is just another upgrade. I mean, what were you expecting? <laughs> what do, what well, do they that's, want? That's why I said to people, was like, yeah, what did you expect them to do? So completely change the whole design. Now, yeah. talking, I, I like the design. I mean, I think it's a very nice, nice looking device. Yeah. Again, I, the only only criticism I've got in terms of the actual phone itself is the materials. I was it's just like going to say the material. That's yeah. pretty much it. Give me, premium, give me more like, premium well, you know, materials. It's, it's not a unibody. Well, but the thing is, that's Samsung's edge, is that they're saying, look, we're offering you the ability to put in a different battery, have yeah. as many extended batteries or you know, uh, uh, secondary batteries as you want, in addition to dual SIM cards uh, on some of the other variants that will be coming out for Asia, in addition to an expandable storage slot of up to 64 gigs, let alone the device itself you can get up to 64 gigabytes if you want. You know what I mean? Exactly. I mean, and I think that's the aspect that people don't get, is that HTC have gone down, I mean, dare I say, they've gone down an Apple route. They're doing yeah. a very nice unibody design, built-in storage. What you see is what you get. With yeah. Samsung, they kind of give you another option. Now, yeah. first, personally, at this moment in time, I'm more swayed towards the HTC option. You know, if I'm being completely honest, I would yeah. rather have that. Yeah. But, don't get me wrong, I, I, I said the S3 last year, I went, that's no, crap. I'm not, yeah. I'm not, not off with it. Yeah. I bought myself an S3, I left it a week or so, I left it almost two weeks, and I thought, I've got to get one, let's play with one. I bought yeah. it, I loved it, amazing device. Yes. And there, yeah. and there, and there, there we go. It's still the device that I recommend, it's probably one of the best Android devices out there, if not still the best Android. Uh, I'll agree with you, the HTC you know? One has caught my attention. Um, you know, I haven't ever owned uh, an HTC since the HTC Hero, Okay, yeah. so I can't judge yeah, everything on that. Six, but, six, six, but with that said, you know, I see, you know, obviously you and I have both like dived right into the HTC one. So we know quite a bit about it. We know what we like about it. Um, it's it, they've got they've definitely definitely stepped up their game, put in a different type of camera, so they've gone like a whole different angle and Samsung is just going, let's just throw in more megapixels, which is not the answer to making yeah. a better camera. So I mean like the majority, the masses will think, holy crap, it's got a thirteen megapixel camera. That thing's gotta be amazing. People don't really understand though. That's not always the technical case, right? Now mm -hmm. it's also got that boom sound, so you've got dual front facing stereo speakers. Yeah, I mean, that in itself is interesting as well. So HTC, innovative wise, that they've they've really taken the cake this year. But yes, agreed. You know, the S four is just ah, I don't know. The way that I see it 
is that the HTC, they've done something different. They've changed the, their landscape of what they're trying to do in a, on a mobile phone, in a yeah. smartphone. You know, I mean, Michael Fisher, he said that, you know, he had, he's had the HTC One and he's played with the boom sound. I've heard boom sound when we're at the Congress and my word, it is damn impressive. And yeah. as soon as he had to give that device to Brandon at Pocket Now, yeah. it was like, he, he missed it straight away. Yeah. You know? It's not something you think you're going to miss yeah. because of the audio quality on it. Yeah. It's different. It's a different ball game. Yeah. So I mean, you know, we we could we could talk about the ACC one probably another hour or two. Let's be honest. Yeah. We could yeah. you know tear it down and say what we like, what we don't like. Yeah. The only negative I don't like about it is it's not got wireless charging. But mm. that's that's one thing that you know the S4, which they didn't even announce it does, but it does have Qi charging. They didn't announce a couple of things. There was the Qi charging, and obviously, what a lot of people are talking about is that they didn't even touch base on the processor, and that's a big friggin' deal, especially well, at a tech event where tech. You notice know afterwards they had all the specifications, but no, yeah. but no, no the processor. processor. Yeah, yeah. Um, did oh, they? The hell out, people. Did they even add the fact that it's got two gigs of RAM in in those spec sheets? Yes, I'd say that too, because it's okay. DDR three RAM as well. Right, they, they actually mentioned it. The presenter actually talked about it, yeah. 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 Which so like. that's, that's pretty impressive. impressive. Yeah. That's impressive, very impressive. Um, you know, now, as far as the processors are concerned, I think we're going to really see, again, you know, they did, we've already seen some early benchmarks, and again, we all know, and both Sam and I will agree, and have said this in past videos, benchmarking is the, 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 the end results are not indicative of the actual performance, overall performance exactly. of the device. However, they did say uh, they they have shown the quad core processor and benchmarks on several different popular benchmarking uh, applications. But then I saw one video um, by a Canadian uh, site called MobileSyrup.com, and they actually briefly showed in one of their hands-on videos um, a Sunfire benchmark, and apparently it got a huge, huge benchmark. Apparently, and that was on the octa chip the eight core processor and they said that that's the highest benchmark they've ever seen on a device in the world ever sweet so now i've never seen or even heard of sunfire benchmark yeah i mean I, I've, heard of, I've heard of it before it's not one i use normally in all honesty okay. I know so I don't know. I can't. Really, I don't really know numbers compared to like other devices' numbers. You know, and like how much higher it is. But I mean, if they're saying and they're a tech, the mobile tech website, and they're saying this is the highest I've ever seen. Yeah. Well, now I've gotten some high hopes for the Octa yeah. chip, and maybe I wouldn't feel so bad about getting. You know, because I mean, hey, if we do have high numbers, it's definitely not going to be a slow phone. However, I can say that during a couple of the videos that I was watching that on the uh, quad core version, I noticed. Some um, uh oh, can you still hear me? I can hear. Just can't see you. <laughs> I think my battery ran out of my phone or something. Here, give me a second. Here, I might have no to. Problems. I'll uh, put the camera on to me so they can just see me. You can keep talking though. Oh, there we go. I'm back. Hang on. Almost. There we go. I'm back. There we go. Okay. Back again. Um, yeah. So sorry about that. <laughs> um, yeah, it was. I was actually seeing some screen to screen, like like on the home screen. They were uh, flipping home screens. There was actually some stuttering. And no, it wasn't the video recording stuttering. It was the actual device. It was like, click, click. And I'm like, oh, I saw some friggin' lag. I couldn't oh. believe it. I, I freaked out. I was like, you got to be kidding me. Yeah. Brand new phone. Uh, a Snapdragon um, uh, 600. Like, really? So, but I haven't seen enough videos on the on the Octa chip to really judge mm. that either. I mean, there, I, there I mean, too many. The thing is that I'll be happy because obviously I'm going to get the Octa chip and you're theoretically not. You probably will because you're probably going to get the your European version. But I'm going to want to, yeah. normally, yeah, you're going to get the, uh, the quad, and I'm going to get the Octa just because that's just how we roll over here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I mean, know, I know, I know. And I mean, you know, to run it down, yeah, interesting. I mean, to to run it down. I'm happy with it. Um, am, I, am I ecstatic? No, but then I wasn't expecting to be blown away. HTC, the company this year, that have impressed me more than any other, just for the fact that you know the innovation they've done. It's a different, different design, different kind of way they're looking to do it. I mean, let's be honest. When you looked at the software on the uh, S3, some of the stuff seemed pretty damn cool, but then some of it were like, oh wait, um, Nokia did that, and uh, LG did that, and HTC did that. Samsung, as a comp, the best company taking the best things of everyone else, putting it into one device. And that is why the Samsung devices are so popular. It's because it doesn't just have one standout feature that another device has got. They take all the best things and put them all into one device yeah. and go, 
here's everything in one. Do you like it? Do you like it? Here, have it, have yeah. it, have it. That's pretty much why Samsung is so popular. Now let, let's touch base on that. A, a, lot, of people, a lot of people are um, claiming, and they're like, oh, well, look at this, Sam, all, the, all the new features, software features that Samsung uh, put in the S4, they stole from HTC, they stole from uh, LG. Well, you guys need to remember, or those people need to remember that all of these devices were actually being developed at the same time. It's just that these companies know, and they talk to each other, when are you releasing your phone? When are you going to be announcing your phone? So on and so forth. Yeah. They've all got the same bloody features, um, but it's not, it's not like... Samsung said, oh, we're just going to hold out for our announcement so that in the last month we can somehow whip together all of this extremely sophisticated software and pack it mm -hmm. into our S4 as quickly as we can in time for the, for, for the announcement event. It's I would not, read it on Google the Plus. Case. I mean, I read on Google Plus and I thought it, could be, it might be a very smart way that there's some, doesn't it? There's these little tech companies out there that design, this, that design the software, e.g. design the dual camera and go, right, we've got the software that will work on any of your device. Here you go, you can buy the software from us. So they go to HTC, they go to Samsung, they go to LG and go, right, do you want to license it off us? So then they go, well, yeah, it saves us having to buy it itself, we'll license it off you. Yeah. So what could happen is that HTC bought it, LG bought it, Samsung bought it, different time of announcements, so it looks like, oh, you've copied you, you've copied you, you've copied you. Exactly. When theoretically, no, they're all just using potential, I don't know if it's true, they yeah. could be using a similar software company to, to license the idea. It probably is true. I mean, yeah. they've obviously tweaked it with their own coding and stuff like that along the way, but I get, you, I guarantee that's exactly what happened. I mean, a lot it's of this stuff is hush hush, but yeah, it's got to be. Now, as far as some of the, um, uh, what do you think about the uh, the touch screen that um, allows you to use your gloves? And I mean, we're talking about Lumi nine twenty. Oh, sorry. I mean, yeah, you, sorry. You mean the uh, the Galaxy S four still? Yeah. Listen, who knows if that particular um, technology was also licensed from a third party. That is as qu well. quite possibly true. Now, what I do know, and this is something I found really strange, is that we all know Samsung. They do, they do copy of companies. Now, but then again, everybody copies each other. You know, Apple yeah. do it. Yeah. You know, people go, no, Apple create, or no, Apple copy more stuff than you bloody realize. Yeah. You see, do it. They all copy each other. Yeah. It just depends who copies each other the best. Yeah. And Samsung seems to be better at copying other people than they are at actually creating it themselves. That's just <laughs> a fact. Now, when I was at Mobile World Congress, there were a lot of Samsung reps taking pictures of all the Nokia booths, HCC booths. And on my flight home, uh, I was sat behind Samsung, some of the Samsung people. They had a Galaxy Note 8, all the pictures from Nokia, from HTC, zooming in going, right, we need to do this, we need to do that. Basically saying, we're going to copy this for the next part. We're going to yeah. copy this next time. Because yeah. if you noticed, they also announced the coloured shells for the S4, which oh, yeah. basically went, hello, Lumia, in, to me, yeah. personally. You know, the bright colours. Uh, I don't know about that. I mean, they did have those flip cases for the... the which, the, again, came out yeah. after the Lumia devices with all the bright colours. <laughs> no. Well, let's just say, let, let, let's, let's say this, then. If, Could be if, Samsung, if Samsung does copy, do, if Samsung does copy... They do a really friggin' good job of it, so don't they're they? They're the best at doing it. The reason why Apple got so good is because Apple, you know, in the past, even Steve Jobs says, you know, um, back in the day, we're like, what, you know, if you, just, if you can't beat them, you copy them. Some, yeah, it's, so not the exact what he said, but yeah. basically he said, copy them, you know, if you can copy them, make it better, then do it. You know, yeah, that's yeah. pretty much what he said. Samsung yeah. at the moment are the best company at taking your idea and making it better. Yeah. And that is how they've done it. They've, yeah. you know, they've got like the Zoe feature. They've got the, the touch screen where you don't have to use, uh, you can use gloves and whatnot. What I found really strange is the air view. How the hell does that work? Because <laughs> with, neat, with, with the pen, you yeah. can see why, because they, they're linked together. That's you know? right. But yeah. how does it know? It's like, it's like that far away. It's, it's got to be, I mean, it's obviously picking up on, on the... Um, uh, I want to say electromagnetic, but our well, body I think, that, that's pretty, I think Michael Fisher in one of his videos said that that's pretty much what it is. It yeah. can sense the heat and the kind of like the electricity in your finger. Yeah. Now, as cool as that is, how annoying will that be? You know, let's say it's in your in your pocket. Yeah. Could that do some kind of weird stuff in your pocket? You know, if it's well, if the screen's turned on, perhaps. You perhaps. Know, but but it might be um, application specific. You know what I mean? Like you're not going to be seeing. That's not going to be happening on your bloody desktop. You know, 
Yeah, po- I don't know because when you obviously when you looked at it, um, the, everything works with the air view and obviously that that bloody swiping crap. Now let's yeah, talk the software. I mean, some of the software is a massive gimmick, but it's yeah. one of the reasons why Samsung are so popular. Yes, they cram now, as much crap as they can. You can be able to turn on and off though. Yeah, you can turn everything off, which is cool. Yeah. Yeah. You no, know, like I'm not too keen on the uh, the pausing one. It's like, yeah, let's watch a video. Yeah. I'm like, oh, no, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know there'll be like a two second delay of when it actually pauses. You know what I mean? Not so you'll look that. away and then you'll miss. You know? What if you're watching like, I don't know, you watch something and you like you just happen to go like that just just to move away really quick and you go boom boom pause. You're like, oh shit, it's paused. Or I'm you go to scratch your neck like this, or you know, you go like that yeah. or whatever. Yeah, it's gonna you pause. You're like, damn it, you know? You know, you're watching even and you're like. Phew. Oh shit! You fucking oh, yeah, exactly. It's gonna pause on you. Like no, it's gonna get annoying. Like, no, it's gonna it's get annoying. A cool idea. Yes. Samsung have got these great cool ideas, yeah. and they implement them very, very cool. Yeah. You know, and a lot of the software features they are unique. They are a first. You know, so fair play to them. Yeah. Some of it I'm probably never gonna use. But yeah. A lot of it I want to play with and go. Do you see this? Look what yeah. my phone can do. <laughs> I think that we'll probably also see some. Um, Real battery optimization as well. Um, you know, so. the the, the Galaxy S3. It. The Galaxy S3 was all right considering the the battery size and the software technology that was out at the time. Um, mm. It was actually it actually held up pretty well. A lot of people were like, "No, it sucks." Well, everyone's always going to never like what they always want more from what they already have, right? Exactly. But it actually handled. It stood up pretty well considering the super heavy UI of TouchWiz, right? And they've given us a 2600 milliamp battery because of the larger display. But at the same time, this display is also supposed to be uh, battery efficient. Uh, the Octa chip, uh, if that's the device you decide to get, is supposed to be 30% more battery efficient. And I'm sure, I'm sure you can't say that, you know, you, I think you'd be naive to think that they spent all this time in their new TouchWiz and didn't try to optimize the battery that much more. You yeah, know what I mean? that's so, right. They've got to have. Yeah, I, I think we're probably going to see a couple, uh, a several, you know, a few more hours that we'll be able to get battery life-wise, um, you know, without the whole inclusion of another, you know what I mean, like 400, 500 milliamps or whatever it is. Yeah, I mean, uh, battery technology is obviously getting better. I mean, yeah. it's an increase. It's what? It's gone from 2100 to 2600, so it's 500 milliamp better. Um, I think that's just to compensate for the screen. <laughs> you know, Not to mention, that. because it's got a removable bloody back, uh, think about all the friggin' extended battery packs. I mean, you know, Zero Lemon sent me that seven thousand milliamp uh, yeah. hour extended battery for the for the for the S three. I mean, you know, exactly. I mean, you've got a seven thousand one. I've reviewed a couple of uh, like a forty six hundred milliamp one from Mugen. Yes. So they're, they're out there. They're out there, and and if you want, and you can't do that with an HTC One. When that battery is dead, you're screwed. Exactly. You have to you have to go and find your charger, and you're gonna have to wait for that thing to charge up. Instead of oh man, my battery's dead. Pop off the back, slap it in you, and you're off to the races, man. You know, yeah. or even go get yourself an extended battery to last that yeah. much longer. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you can't. So you know, uh, it is what it is, and and each company's done their own thing for their own reasons. And obviously, a lot of what attracts certain people to Samsung is those abilities to do that, regardless of the build material. Yes, unfortunately. But, you know, I can't really, I, I suppose I was going to say, I can't really see them making um, a removable back and everything like that with 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 metal materials, but that's BS. Yeah, so they could easily have made the entire phone aluminum and then just had an aluminum back and with some sort of a, like a, a latch. Well, I mean, look, HTC have done it in the past. They've made uh, metal phones with, with removable backs. Yeah. Um, people even sell a metal back for the S3. You can buy, oh, it, a, you you can buy a metal back. There you go. It's like yeah. perfect. So yeah, there's no reason why they can't do it. It's yeah. just Samsung that just they don't want to just go we're apple plastic. You know what I would have liked to see though is them incorporate all that waterproof nano coating that we've been seeing at CES and Mobile World Congress. Yes. Where the hell is when when is this technology going to start coming into place? And quite like honestly, bad boy. Yeah, but then but yeah. see that's not even re- real. That's not even with the nano coating. That's that's with the um, the plugs and the tops and, and all the all you the. You say ports. that? I actually put it in by mistake. I had it open a little bit, and yeah. it's perfectly fine. Really? Yeah. So um, there's obviously there must be something else to it apart from just those. those well, then, with that said, I'd like to see more devices. And Samsung, the real, I really think that that would, if they would have tossed in nano coating, waterproof nano coating on their chip for the S4, they would have. That would have been a huge selling point for people, yeah. man. Yeah. A huge. 
hey, welcome to our waterproof phone. Yeah. You know? <laughs> like, that would have been awesome. It is pretty epic. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I, I've done video, I've, I've done quite a few, two videos on this in the water, and, you know, the device might not be the best device, but that waterproof aspect of it just makes me want to keep it. Yeah. You know, it's, it makes me like, oh, man, I can go and shower and still play Angry Birds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not that I would, but you can. Yeah, it's yeah exactly. You know? I don't know, man. What do you think? We wrap it up now? Yeah, I mean, do you want to take a couple of questions really quickly before we uh, jump off? Yeah, we could take a couple of questions. Yeah. Um, I, th I saw a couple of people asking there, what, you know, regards to should you upgrade to the S4 from the Note 2? Good question. Um, my personal opinion would be yes, just for the fact that I'm not a fan of the 5.5 inch, and mm. obviously the S4 is smaller than the S3. So, you know, it's smaller, five inch, yes. My personal opinion on it is if you bought the Note 2 because of the screen size, well, there's no point because it's a bigger screen size than the, than the S4 still is. Also, um, the display technology is different. On one hand, you've got an LCD display, and on the other hand, you've got an AMOLED display. Yeah. So, you know... That's, you know, it's, it's really up to you. Again, you know, I personally, if I had a Note 2 and that was the decision, I, I don't really like the S Pen, so I'd end up, I'd end up um, getting, I wouldn't call it upgrading or downgrading to the S4, but I would, I would personally get the S4 over the Note 2 just because, you know, like half of the bloody Note 2, the whole point of it is, is the S Pen. And yeah, exactly. I just never found a use for it. So that's yeah. my personal opinion. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I would call it an upgrade just for the fact yeah. that, the 1080p display, I mean, looking at a 1080p display on these phones, I mean, this has not got the best viewing angles, but the screen, it makes me, I look at my Nexus 4 and go, man, I feel sorry for you now. Yeah. Seriously, I'm like, it's, it just feels bad. You there know? was one question, um, would they get? Would we get the uh, the uh, HTC One over the S4? <laughs> now, which, which would you choose? You know, if I said to you right now, you have to choose one, choose. Um, just based on my experience with Samsung, I'm going to have to go with Samsung. Yeah. Me personally, I'm more excited for the HTC One still. Um, don't get me wrong. It's because I've played one. That's pretty much what it is. I've played one. I've held it in my hand, and yeah. I love the. I love it. It is just one yeah. sexy, sleek. I, th oh, I think a you... large part of it also, though, is the development community. You know, um, yeah. everybody knows HTC isn't exactly the easiest to root and unlock the bootloader and yada 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 yada. Well, it's it's already been rooted. Um, you can unlock it via HTC Dev. The boot, the, on the uh, rooting of the device is done by Paul O'Brien. It takes literally two minutes, if that. Right. Job done. Right, so. and I'm reposting, yeah, yeah, about how it's done. And so it is, it is relatively easy, but but you that's know, because of the Qualcomm processors. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. it makes it a lot easier to do it. I, I still go, a person, I'd still go with the S4. Um, just because I know that more developers are going to be jumping on the Samsung S4 bandwagon than they will the HTC bandwagon. HTC yeah. screwed them too many times in the past, and those popular, the real good ROM developers have moved on, and they've just given up on HTC. Yeah. They're like, I'm done with you, man, you know? I mean, I'm, I'm actually more impressed by the HTC One camera from the samples we've seen. We know we didn't really touch on it much, but just to really go on really the S, uh, the HTC One, I know it's a 4 megapixel ultra pixel but for my usage yeah. and this is the reason why I would go the HTC one is that 4 megapixel is good enough because I post to Twitter, Instagram, Facebook that's it Yeah, I've got no use to have a 13 I don't want to do a big massive picture I want a good quality small picture and yeah. from samples I've seen it looks like the HTC one delivers on that and for me that's it. The only thing that's missing is the wireless charging but I can live with that I've, I've lived with that I could, live, I could live without that it's not the yeah. huge yeah. thing for me so, I mean, to wrap Anyways, up, man, I think that's all the questions just, just I have time for first. Just, just say to wrap it up, we're both yeah. impressed by the device. Yeah. We're both happy with it. We're both going to get one, let's be honest. We're both going to get one to play around with and review. You're well. um, if anyone's got any questions for us, they can follow us both on Twitter. I'm at Sam J. Pullen. And I'm at Smoking Android. That's it. And don't forget to subscribe to Jared if you're watching this. And if you're watching this on Jared's channel, he's probably going to upload it. Come up to me and say hello to Sam. Yep. Anyway, people, that's it. Thanks for coming to watch. Uh, we may do another one of these pretty soon. And yeah. We'll see you all in the next video. Cheers, everyone. Bye.